Hey, folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to, blah, 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 welcome to a brand new series of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, my very favorite true roguelike game there is out there. And it is time for the long demanded, long awaited run as a vampire necromancer. Now, I have to say, I think that a vampire necromancer start isn't as strong as a necromancer enchanter start, where you'd go around putting people to sleep and just stabbing them to death with your amazing, amazing stabby, stabby skills. Uh, but it was specifically requested that we do a, a necromancer run. The thing is, I'd say go vampire enchanter and then worship Kiku, and Kiku gives you books of necromancy, and that would be good. We're still gonna worship Kiku here, even though it's a little redundant, just because we want his corpse-granting powers. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we, we, it was requested I specifically be a vampire necromancer, so we're gonna do that. So as a vampire, we're kind of funky. We do have Rage of Sharp Teeth. It's actually Fangs 3, which is pretty good. And as a bonus, when we bite, so this is an auxiliary attack. So whenever we melee, there's a chance of getting an auxiliary attack off. Um, it used to get boosted, I think, by um, unarmed combat, but that has not been the case for a while, as far as I know. So we can do bonus damage with the teeth. And uh, as a vampire specifically, we'll also um, heal ourselves a little bit when that happens because we drain some blood. We do have C and Viz from the start, so there's one less item we have to worry about. And we can survive without breathing. We are unbreathing, so we're unaffected by things like poison clouds and whatnot, uh, which is kind of cool. But one of the other big things is, yeah, if we go and tab over to blood properties, which is not something that most people will have, uh, we can see as a vampire, we have, we don't have regular hunger. We can't eat food rations. We don't eat chunks or anything like that. Instead, of course, we drink blood. And depending on how much blood we have in us, we have very different states. Um, we can never die from, you know, we don't have a, a true hunger clock, right? If we don't drink at all, eventually we'll go to the bloodless state. And while bloodless, I mean, that's, there's pros and cons. Um, you don't heal anymore when you're bloodless, right? You have no no natural regeneration or metabolism. In fact, regeneration spells don't really do much for you, and you basically count as a full undead. Uh, you have a major bonus to stealth. You're never hungry. You're immune, not just resistant to poison, immune to poison. Have massive cold and, and negative energy resistance. You're resistant to rot and torment. And as long as we're thirsty or bloodless, we'll be able to turn into a bat, uh, starting at level three. Apparently, we can turn into bat as early as satiated. I think it's, um, I think it used to be like a hard limit. I think in 2.3, they made it so that there's a chance. I think we have 100%, like, or 0% failure rate to turn into a bat at bloodless. And at more bloody levels, we have, like, you know, some higher failure chances. Um, one of the weird things with Vampire, though, we do actually have plus one to transmutation as a spellcaster. That would be the ability to shapeshift ourselves. However, we're only allowed to shapeshift if we're full or satiated. So being a vampire transmuter uh, does effectively limit you to playing as a full or satiated state. Um, if you go all the way full for blood, this is when you have the fastest regeneration in terms of regenerating your hit points. Um, but other than that, it's probably, you know, satiate is probably fine. You get your normal regeneration still. Um, and you actually still have a pip of, of a negative resist while at satiated, which is kind of nifty. Um, I think, you know, the sort of dream is like play it bloodless as and have some other way to regain hit points. Um, for example, maybe you'll get your melee bite off, but also we do start with a spell book that comes with Vampiric Draining, which is a touch range spell. Touch range spell, like you have to use this against someone adjacent. Um, it does a bunch of damage, uh, but then it will give you hit points back over there. Um, as a level three spell, it does take three mana to cast. So that's pretty harsh early on for us because we're not gonna have a ton of mana, but it will be kind of nice. Um, we also start with Animate Skeleton, which actually we can memorize right away. So I will do that, boom. Um, and we also start with Pain. So Pain is a spell that does pretty good damage. It actually ignores armor, unlike the, you know, Magic Dart or Flame Throw or whatever, I don't know, the, the various level one spells you'd start with as a caster. It ignores armor. It does require you to bypass MR. Although it tends to do that pretty pretty consistently um, because it has a bonus to its ability to bypass MR compared to say like hexes and things like that. So you can usually land pain. Uh, it does pretty good damage. It also does one damage to yourself. Although I think if we are fully bloodless, that will no longer be the case. And it can't kill you. If you're at one hit point, it won't kill you. So we have that. In terms of skills, um, we do have, okay, let's actually open this up. We'll take a look at our aptitudes. Uh, we have a minus one to fighting, which does sort of suck because raising fighting is something almost everyone wants to do to get bonus hit points. Um, but minus one's not terrible. We'll certainly still be skilling that up for sure. 
Um, we've got a plus one aptitude to short blades, and we do we are very natural stabbers, and almost certainly will build up around that uh, short blade. And in particular, if we worship Kiku, the thing we can do at max piety is he can uh, brand one weapon, just forever, only one weapon with pain. It's either that or actually we can get a really high necromancy spellbook. But what we could do is um, brand something like a quick blade with pain. Pain is a brand that does bonus damage on attacks based on your necromancy skill. So we'll be able to obliterate people with something like a quick blade of pain if we get to that point, which would be amazing. We're also pretty good at long blades. And of course these two cross trains, so that'll give us some flexibility for itemization. Other items are quite a bit poorer. We do have a bonus to unarmed combat. Um, which again, so Vampire Transmuter would be very interesting because you have the plus one to transmutations and the plus one to arm combat, but you have to make sure that you're going to be playing in that satiated uh, state all the time or you can't use your shape-shifting bonuses. We suck at all things range. We have, uh, we're not great at armor. And the thing is with spell casting, like we're going to do here, plus kind of stealthy play, we're going to want to stay in fairly light armors. So that's not going to be too bad. We do have a plus one to dodging, which is going to be great because we're going to play fairly dexy. We will grab a shield at some point, almost certainly at least a buckler because we're going to be doing a one-handed thing so we'll we'll have to at least raise our shield skill to the buckler skill and a minus one won't impinge on that too much minus one spell casting not that unusual and not really a problem we are really bad at conjurations so like direct damage spells is not going to be our jam however hex is at a plus four and charms at a plus one again as an enchanter that like this is the way to go as a vampire man holy cow zero summonings is great and fine plus one to necromancy translocation minus two is like kind of sucky but it's not going to be enough to cause a problem to like cast uncontrolled blink we'll easily be able to do that plus as a vampire we'll be able to switch to bat form especially if we're bloodless um and it's a good escape because it runs really fast and gives us a ton of evasion uh we're bad with fire oh we're good at transmutation again shape shifting if we wanted we're really bad with fire but we're perfectly fine with the other elements poison's fine too got a minus one to evocation or invocations but we're not going to be using invocations because kiko uses necromancy instead of invocations um evocations at a minus one so if we're highly reliant on like wands for example it might be a thing but i don't think so and then we got a massive plus five on stealth plus if we are thirsty or um bloodless we actually get a, an a bonus to stealth so we are like we can be super mega 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 stealthy um, I think I'm going to do what right now is just because odd numbers annoy me is I will simply train necromancy and dodging. I'm going to train dodging up to three and I will train necromancy up to five. Uh, training necromancy up to five will make the uh, vampiric uh, draining a little bit more consistent. Maybe not quite enough. Um, I'll just do those just because it sort of annoys me on principle. Uh, and then very likely uh, whenever we find a short blade, we'll uh, just train that like ideally maybe a dagger for some stabbing. Uh, we'll train that to min delay poison needles um we don't i don't know if i'm gonna prioritize picking up poison needles but if i find curare maybe because we could certainly blow gun some people um i i don't think you can sneak attack punch i mean if they're asleep you can't miss but i don't think we get a stab bonus so i'll just hit him with pain over here so yeah you can see it did one point of damage to myself now oh i needed shout did he shout before he died oh, that's not the button i want to hit he did shut before he died. Well, that's very annoying. All right, so now we got a corpse. So as a vampire, we've got uh, different ways to deal with corpse. We do not eat normal food. We only drink blood. If I hit E on this guy, I will drain blood from this body directly um, and, you know, keep up my current hunger level. Um, if I chop it, which is what I'm going to do here, rather than chop it into chunks, what I actually do... Oh, uh, oh I guess it still has my macros from the... Um, from the ogre play, macro C, I just want to clear that. So if it's C, chop or butcher, what I'm going to do is make potions of blood. So I gained one over here. Do start with one as a vampire here instead of a ration. So potions of blood I can drink to control my blood level later on if I would like. I'm going to rest here, do that. That's going to be fine. Um, but the thing is, as a necromancer, we're going to have to make some hard decisions. Um, I want, at some point, I'm going to want to pick up stones let me maybe pick up sling bullets as well um but i want to find stones so that i can like throw something here to like bring someone to me without having to enter a big room especially at the start here we're gonna be oh that's literally our only option anything in there nope all right good he, he woke up i guess that's the thing i can sort of wander back and forth um until he spots me through my stealth there we go let's whack him with pain Hello. Uh, there we go. Pain you as well. Grab the scroll. 
or not. Okay. I don't want to draw too much. You see, it's like pretty harsh here. We have three things following us. Okay. Let's say Payne should one shot these guys as long as we get a good roll. So we're just going to pillar dance. Oh, the rat went wandered that way. I guess he lost track of us. That's one of the things with, with higher stealth, sometimes pillar dancing, they'll just start wandering our way. Uh, which can be good or bad, depending on, like, things, because it does mean you sort of could lose track of someone. So it'd be nice to grab a weapon. We will grab and wield this whip. But again, sort of dagger is a little bit more what we're interested in. We'll just wait um, a tick here. Dart slug. Oh, out of pain. There we go. Tab kill. Um, I don't think I can do anything with this one. Because, like, if I chop them up... Yeah, they don't have any blood. What? Is this, like, operatic music? I'm playing the... Um... Wait, what? I'm supposed to be... Oh, it's because of the way I loaded up. Damn it. I was trying to play the War of the Vikings soundtrack. Um, but I guess the way I loaded things up, it started playing other Paradox songs. Hopefully nothing that is copyright flagged. But I like the War of the Vikings soundtrack. It was a fun game! Uh, it came out kind of rough timing at the same time as another similar sort of, um, um, squad melee combat game. And then they were all eclipsed, of course, by, uh, Battle Royale games later on. Uh, oh, there's a Goblin Corpse. So if you auto-explore, it will just go ahead and assume, like, it'll quote-unquote chop the bodies, well, based on my auto-butcher settings, which I've got on, which is very handy, uh, and that seems fine. Let's go ahead and pain these rats. And yeah, for now, I'm perfectly happy. We'll just make a bunch of potions of blood so that we have more life management options later on. Uh, early on, I'll probably have to mostly play, like, fairly satiated to get some regen, because even with the vampiric, um, what's it called? A vampiric draining. Like, the mana cost is so high, I'm not going to be able to maintain my hit points with that early on. Like, it'll be a nice option. Uh, a gnoll. I mean, if you're alone, that's okay. Sometimes gnolls have nets. I don't know if you can, like, tell if this is a gnoll with a net or not. Yeah, they are a little dangerous early on. The fact that I keep dealing damage to myself with pain. Um, please die. Thank you. I am going to eat you. A lot less thirsty. There we go. Keep up the regeneration rate for now. Okay, necromancy reached. Uh, we do have to have a skill on. Um, let me actually turn on spell casting. We're gonna have a target before. Actually, hold on. I see a short sword at least. Oh, okay, level up. Um, when we are every fifth level as vampire, we'll gain either a point of intelligence or dexterity. So when we get a chance to boost our stats every third level here. Um, we can keep that in mind. Uh, Int is obviously quite nice as a caster. And as we already get 17, which is pretty good, I think I'm going to put in most of my points into Dexterity to get a lot more evasion, because I think we're going to need that to keep ourselves fairly alive. So I'm going to do that. We're level 3, we can turn into a bat, um, which is available right now, even though we're satiated, but it's 26% failure rate. Um, the bat form, I don't think, has a duration, other than maybe if you become, like, full or something like that, then it knocks you out of it completely. While you're in bat form, you can't do most things. I think you can still evoke wands, and I think you can also invoke god powers if you have that kind of thing. But that's about it. Um, right, so I was gonna say, did we find a dagger at all? Yeah, we did. So we should just grab that, wield this, drop the whip. Not that whip is a bad base thing, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and skill our short blades to level 10, um, which is the min delay for the dagger, which is pretty good. We may end up switching to a short sword later on. A uh, short sword has, you know, higher base damage, um, but not as much stab damage. It'll mostly depend on, like, what traits we find on things. Um, I could focus, but I think I'll just... L no, you know what? I will focus short blades for now, and that's going to be okay. We'll get the the couple of levels of spell cast in there, which will help with a few things. I guess I am level three, so I will memorize Vampiric Draining. Regeneration is pretty potent. Uh, it will depend a great deal on... I guess I could be raising um, Undead here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to relabel my spells. So U is going to get relabeled to X. I can hit ZX 
there we go, to just go ahead and raise some skeletons. Um, I don't think the bat, I don't know, I think I think the type of base thing you, you raise as a skeleton has an impact on the quality of the skeleton. That's a cursed dagger. I don't know, we'll uh, make one blood thing and then do that. Boop, 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 boop. A ring, a potion, done exploring. Um, that stack of four po uh, scrolls is very likely to be identified. It might be worth reading that already. Wow! Thank you, Stealth, for not waking those guys up. Um, let's put an exclusion on that staircase. I'm gonna peek the other staircase over here, too. That's okay. Oh, no corpses for skeletons. Hey, we're now thirsty. We're very thirsty. So we do regenerate a lot slower now. Although we do still regenerate, so we can rest if we're not, you know, worried about time at all. Uh, we don't get anything out of a dark slug. Can I get a stab off here? Yes. No corpse. I want to get some skeletons. Um, we are poison resistant here, right? Being thirsty? Yeah. We're not immune to poison, but we are resistant to poison. I'm just fling a stone, so I'm doing something while I wait. Boom. Near bloodless. We are still um, losing health from our painting. Make a skeleton. Um, and actually pull back here. I don't want to deal with the, the worm. Now, I don't think your summons get uh, stealth checks against them. So, I don't think there was any way for that worm to wake up from seeing your summon. The only thing might have been is if he heard me. Okay. Boom. Oh, right, and I do have a bonus to stealth right now because I am um, thirsty when I do hit bloodless. So if I go the shift A, exclamation mark, yeah, I'm on the thirsty thing. So I got some extra stealth. If I do go all the way to Bloodless, I will be super stealthy. I don't know, though. I feel like we mostly want to wander around um, satiated for now. I'm going to eat. I'm not going to use my blood potions yet. Uh, that's okay. Glowing dagger. I mean, it might be crap. I might not want to just wield it. Reach level four. Yeah, let me just drink that. There you go, I'm back to satiated. Uh, we'll pick up the glowing dagger. I don't, I'm not too worried about, um, how do I feel about you guys? I guess it's okay. Let me just hope to get one. These guys are slow. Worms are tough, but there we go. We do ignore their armor with the spell, which is nice. So yeah, um, like there's a chance that they could still be branded with something dangerous, but I, um, let's, you know, actually move out of melee range with the thing that I don't have to melee. Thank you. I'm back to thirsty. Oh yeah, Terrence. Um, I don't want to deal with you right now. So we're gonna do that. Anything left to auto explore? No? Okay, that's fine. Dungeon level three. We'll wait one level to read scrolls because um yeah, let's do this. Um because level four is when the temple can start arriving, appearing, and if we read a magic uh, mapping, then we might be able to just rush the temple so that we can uh, get Kiku. Throw a rock at you. You poisoned me. Well, that's very rude. Poison needles and a blowgun. Well, it's kind of nice to be able to get a blowgun. Actually, very nice. Let's um, relabel our dagger. Oops. Misclick. Uh, relabel our dagger as A, and relabel our blowgun as B, so we can toggle between the two. That's the wrong button. Um, what did I do? Equal I, 
also gun B. There we go. Needles and stones. Yeah, all right. Hey, we're fully bloodless, so we actually don't regenerate health right now. And I'm not sure that's a place we want to... Speaking of places we don't want to be, or things we don't want to be in this place, that is a very early ogre. Let's say no to that. Stab. Yeah, see? And we bite it and draw its blood. We are fully healed. We do have enough mana for two and only two of our vampiric draining, so I don't, yeah, that's not really, not really viable. Um, well, we're immune to poison right now, so. Uh, oh my god, that's an actual full orc pack? What the? Now, we can block line of sight from the wizard, which is nice. Oh god, where's the staircase? It's so far away. Okay, whoa. Um, you know what this is a good time for? Bat form. Wait, do we still have a 22% chance to fail? What is- is this always like this? Alright. Whee! Run away. I don't want to get smited. Oh. Oh yeah. Go ahead and hiss angrily or whatever. I might wake this guy up too. There we go. I think as a bat, we get even more stealth bonus. I think so. Okay, let's go up the stairs. Find another staircase. Um, I just want to kill this guy. Yeah. And transformation. So, if I pain now... There we go. Yeah, we don't take any damage. That being said, we're going to go ahead and eat this guy. So, there's some ability to regenerate. It's slow, but you know, we're not in a rush here. <gasps> Potions of blood do rot away. Oh, that's something I didn't know. Okay, that makes sense, though. Um, then I will drink those. It is like rations. It's actually something I... What the? Come on! And I'm going to dra gr drag grinder up the stairs, too? Oops. Oh, my God, you're paralyzing me. Dude. Game, could you... Could you please, game? Wait. Oh, I'm standing on the other staircase. Um... So... Is this safe? I don't remember these staircases now. Okay. We're okay here. We might just have to skip this floor for a second. Although, if we're gonna read... Okay, let me animate you. It's just the ogre. If we're gonna read scrolls on the next floor, which would be nice to finally start doing, um, if we read teleportation... Yeah, you come at me, bro. stones, yeah. Um, uh, you didn't leave a corpse. Oh man, it's a whole mess of these guys. Um, boom, boom, boom. Oh, um, Macro on two, make it redefine ZQF bite. Okay. I don't know if I can heal anything from that. I got the old wizard. I mean, if it's just the wizard, ow. Nope. Okay. Ow. I got I got smitten as I was trying to go up the stairs. I hit I hit the up key. 
on the staircase and um, in like it takes you a turn or something to finish it. I got smited. I got smited, smited to minus ten. Um, no to save macros. Um, yes to try again. Yes to try again. Let's do this again. Come on, load, load. Thank you. Um, we'll just, let's say, just get our dodging going on right away. I don't know. Let's. We'll get the next man scene and we'll see. Um, I'm going to memorize, animate skeleton. Yes. Okay. A ring right away. That's handy. Pain you. I mean, you not being armed is nice in terms of hitting me less. On the other hand, it means I don't get a weapon. Um, yeah, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to eat you. We're definitely going to stay on the higher levels of satiation for now. We're going to play fairly mortal at this time. Maybe because I'm feeling slightly mortal. Oh, yeah, I could have picked up a whip. Die? Thank you. Rest? Rest? Okay. Let's pick this up. Wield it. All right. Definitely not interested in the club. It's hardly better than an unarmed strike. Just gonna wait until I have maybe three mana. There you go, one. Oh, there we go. Got you on the first one. That's Necromancy there. Um, let's go dodging for now. Until I can get a dagger. Or a short sword. Or a glowing sling. And he's accursed. Plus two sling of freezing. Okay. Well, um, let's relabel you to, let's say, B, and then relabel E to A. I don't have any stones right now, um, but they, so slings and stones, we'll turn those on. Yeah, maybe we'll pick up needles along the way, too. Like, we have to, I don't know, man. Oh yeah, just potion of blood. Um, die. Thank you. Rest. Back. Pain, pain, pain. Miss, miss, miss. Ow. Ow. Right, I forgot you're fast. I mean, it still worked because it minimized how many times you could hit us. Python. I mean, I know I could start using the sling. I guess I, I will swap to it. And then still use spells. Alright, done exploring. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to skill the sling. of blood since they're gonna wear out there's hep hep is good she can't miss sleeping creatures so it's actually a really good opener fetus dodging goes up uh no body he ain't got no body uh yeah we'll sling the sleepers and then pain this guy rest level three um we're gonna go into dex rest Oh, uh, yeah, we are pretty injured, aren't we? Move over here. Rest. Rest. I'll use pain because it's a little bit more consistent. Uh, eat the cobalt corpse. And we can just shoot like that. Um, pull back to here. Shoot. That was an easy kill. Helmet. Uh, get the bat. Pain the bat. 
Boom. Mm. I mean, maybe, I don't know, is bottling as good as just feeding? That's actually something I don't know and I should probably um, work out. I'm gonna assume it is. For now. So I guess auto bottling is fine, unless what I want is, did I not relabel the skeleton? No, I guess I did not. Animate skeleton, I'm gonna put you on X. Is it X? Thank you. I should probably um, change my RC file for that if I'm gonna be playing this a lot. Yeah, so I can't pain the demon. I think it is susceptible to cold though. No suitable missiles, excellent. Well, you're gonna be kind of annoying. I'm just going to back up over here. I can drag this guy up, that's, I'm okay with. Pain you. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just chop you. If I guess I killed you, I could've. Oh, God. How do you clear your macros between things? Because even though we just went and said no to save, it still remembers my ogre macros. Hmm, I don't know. Here, follow me to the stairs. Come up, attack you. I mean, with the skeleton we might win, but I'm just gonna park you over there. Like, done. Yeah, yeah, we'll just quaff some vamp blood. Or not vamp blood, but I could have made a body there. Yeah, we're having to manage that. This will be less of an issue once we've got Kiku, because we can summon bodies whenever we need. Oh my god. We just fell two floors? The game does not want us to succeed. We're going to avoid um, waking anything if we can. Our priority here is simply to find stairs up. Not down, but up. Uh, I'm gonna stop dodge at four for now. <laughs> I'm gonna train some stealth. Um, just because I'm like, wow, stealth would be so good right now. I'll pain you, that's fine. I mean, we could have taken the adder, but... Just grab these. Or the trees. Might lead to you or something. Do I want to go the up hatch? Let's see here. This stuff is good. It's letting us pick our fights. You don't make noise when you wake up. I suppose neither does the adder. Although I'm a little worried about being poisoned in this vulnerable situation. Alright. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. I'm gonna take the hatch up. Yeah, because this floor was mostly fine. It's satiated. Okay, this hunting sling is. Ooh, you're probably not alone. And you'll have reach and stuff. That's gonna be annoying. Um, yeah, let's just put an exclusion on you for now. See? Not alone. stairs over here. Pain. Pain. No waking up for you guys. Oh, we are very thirsty. Here. Let's drink a few. Presumably it always drinks the oldest ones, I would hope. Left a chance of rot. Excellent. Dodging is reached. Um, feels weird to just train stealth, but um, I will leave stealth on. Nice if we can do like I guess if I focus everything else, I want to like anti-focus stealth. Keep it trickling up, but don't go crazy. Uh, oh, we hadn't actually memorized Vampiric Drain in this particular one. Um, so let me set a macro on two, Z, Q. Wait, what? Macro on two. Oh, redefine Z, Q, F, like that. Um, 
And that we don't want to fail because it's going to be in melee range. So we're going to train up Necromancy. It's already pretty high up. Uh, I'm going to train it to like an 8 here. It will give us some power on those spells as well, which is going to be nice. I do want to turn fighting on and then dodging again for like just survivability, but I think we'll get those going and then um, maybe we can switch to short blades at some point. I mean, I think he just dropped a dagger, even if we don't use it. Yeah, let's pick it up. Um, we're going to set a short blade target of 10 and turn it on. I don't need to focus right now because we're not actually using the short blade. We're going to keep getting carried a little bit by this hunting sling, even with no sling skill whatsoever. And that's going to be okay. Uh, boom. Let's make a friend. Oh. Why is it not moving? Did not notice the hobgoblin over there. That's why it's a really good thing that that's a feature. Level zero hunting sling. Let's just push tab to kill. And pain, pain. Stuff goes up a little. Excellent. Ooh. Curse dagger. Yeah. We want to look for a poison or elect dagger early on. Short blades level one. And potentially short sword actually would also be fine. Um, yeah, I'll make you into a friend instead of butchering you up. That was Nemelex, who would be a lot of fun. We gotta do a, a Nem run at some point, but today is not that day. So, we're gonna assume this is going to... Uh, maybe not with the water there. I will say to you, if, but nope, I guess not. Done exploring. Alright. Um, I guess I can't really stab you. I'll just pain you. There you go. Eat. Nom 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 nom. Falcon of Flaming. Well, I mean, that's very cool. Well, no, it's the opposite of cool. Um, if I can just drag you up, I'm kind of okay with this. Just didn't want to fight the ogre at the same time. Oh, wow, one shot with pain. Um, I don't think I have any real desire to use that. Let's uh, grab the third stair that we haven't explored, and hopefully it doesn't have an ogre next to it. be a pack, but it's okay. I'll just drag you to the staircase. Oh, is the skeleton not coming? You have pretty good stealth. I think you forgot about us pretty quick. Uh, unintelligent things do forget about you a lot faster than intelligent things, so skeletons are pretty unintelligent. We just feel slightly cleverer, though, so that's nice. Um, I guess we can't pain you, um, which actually makes you a lot scarier than I remembered that you would be. Uh, you, ow, will not follow us upstairs. Ow. Wow, yeah. Um, let's, um... Oh, rotting. I guess I should have drank more. Tell you what, let me drink a couple more here. Let's pop down these stairs. Yeah. Not having a way to deal with undead is something I'm forgetting about. Because normally, you that you always can. We're DL4. That ogre has been going around. I really, really don't want to deal with him. We'll try to clear a little bit more of this level because we're going to do some scroll reading on five, I guess. Eat pain. Eat pain before you smite me a bunch. Thank you. Raise the dead. Raise the dead. Uh, iguanas can hit for a lot, but it's nice when you're freezing them. Yeah, you're just gonna buy me some time. My little skellies. Random apple, not interested. I mean, literally. Can oh, there's the temple. Excellent. Okay. Um. Uh, 
fine. Kiku. What? Ah, we have not found Kiku in our temple. Well, that is a crying shame. I wonder. Okay, skip the ogre. Skip those needles. Ignore that guy. Temple of Rue and lots more skeletal type people. Does not make me a very happy camper. What if there's more temples up there? What if there's where Kiku is? Now, just out of curiosity, daggers, no, short swords, no, okay, no magical stuff. We do have the dagger on us if we wanted to do that, which actually um, what I should do is drop the whip and at least um, relabel the dagger to A, so I could always switch to it a little more handily. And yeah, no reason to keep the whip around. Eat pain. Long at. Okay. I'm gonna read the stack of nine. What a surprise! It's identify. Um, potions of curing. Let's identify all of our potions. Blind read these twos. I think that's okay. Squirrel of amnesia, not interested. Not right now, anyway. Remove curse. Excellent, because then I can put on this ring. Ring of magical power. Giving us a ton more mana. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, I could put on the uh, the helmet. As far as I know, it doesn't affect spell casting. I don't think so. I think it's just body armor and a shield. Uh, yeah, I could have put that on a while ago for some AC. All right, well, I think this is a good place for us to put a cut in. Um, I'm quite happy to explore DL5. Uh, we will have to go back and finish four at some point, if nothing else, because that might be where Kiku Alder is. So if something's not in the, um, in the temple, it's gonna be somewhere in the first few floors here. So Kiku's gonna be somewhere out there and hopefully we haven't left him on floor four, because that would be kind of annoying. Folks, thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you guys next time.